CBS 4 News Consumer Alert, and as fears uh, over the coronavirus grow, people are frantically buying up supplies, leaving store shelves empty. Prices are also skyrocketing online, and that has officials warning sellers about the potential consequences they could face if they're caught price gouging. From coast to coast, retail stores are selling out of products like hand sanitizer, disinfectant wipes, and masks. A California woman posted this video from a Costco where she says hundreds of people lined up Thursday morning to buy items that were limited. What are you looking for? Alcohol. Alcohol. Alcohol? I'll get it for you. In New York City, pharmacies are having trouble keeping up with the demand. This is where our hand sanitizer comes. As soon as we get it, it's off the shelf. So when an order comes in, within about an hour, it's all gone. And we try to keep it to a limit, uh, three to a customer. One New Jersey woman says she went to six stores before finding hand sanitizer. When I wanted to pay, she said $50. And I think that's disgusting, and they're taking advantage of people right now. Some say they won't pay the sky-high prices. I think if you just get soap and wash your hands for like 20 seconds, uh, I think it'd be fine. Online sales of virus protection products have skyrocketed up 817% in the last two months. This Amazon listing offers four boxes of masks, usually about $20, for over $1,000. Amazon says it's blocking or removing thousands of offers where it says bad actors are attempting to artificially raise prices on basic need products during a global health crisis. Now states and cities are cracking down. California's attorney general told businesses that if they violate price gouging laws. You'd better be prepared to pay the price for your law breaking. And New York City is issuing $500 fines to any stores found price gouging starting this week. Commissioner Lorelei Salas from New York City's Department of Consumer and Worker Protection. This is not a time to be trying to make a, a quick buck on the backs of hardworking people. Well, officials say masks are a good idea for people who are already sick so they don't infect others, but wearing a mask won't stop you from getting the virus.